everyone in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create cut rays or light rays effect using spark AR you're gonna need 30 planes as an array so I'm gonna start with adding a plane into this focal distance you know it needs to be on the focal distance so I'll just copy and paste until I reach to number 30 yep. once you add 30 planes then you can go ahead with the scaling well there's actually a better way to achieve this array using blender there is this modifier called um, array I guess if you search for other tutorials you're gonna see some other creators using blender to achieve this plane array but I'm gonna stay in the spark AR anyway Now we need fit to screen patch and device screen size. Connect the screen size to fit to screen patch and then link the output to plane scales. If you completed this part, you can proceed with positioning. So select all of the planes and then extract the positions at once. We need to align them once again because the positions are kind of important. So we need, we need the planes uh, to be positioned between focal distance and camera proportionally. So what we're gonna do is let's calculate the distance between each plane. The distance between camera and focal distance is 0.5. We need to divide it by 30 and this is gonna be our volume between each plane let's say the first plane is on zero we need to add the distance on the z-axis gonna keep coming from focal distance to camera for each plane we need to add this value should look like this once you finish the positioning now we need to um, achieve some kind of grayscale texture 
from camera texture I'm gonna extract the camera texture and to be able to achieve grayscale image you can search for Josh Beckwith's uh, bloom effect on YouTube and you can dive deep into that but right now I'm just gonna use luminance patch and swizzle it with um, XXX1 Now, we can add smooth step. We're gonna be playing around with this smooth step uh, once we achieve cut raise effect. Now we need the blur patches. I'm gonna be using um, radial blur because, in my opinion, it's essential to have radial blur in this kind of effect the nature of this radial blur effect is you know it already looks like god rays effect sort of I'm gonna mix them well actually I can use one of them as well but let's stick, stick with the plan yeah I I need to add some materials before I proceed because um, I want color cycles to look like a rainbow coming from focal distance to camera like there needs to be a flow so to achieve that I need multiple materials rather than only one I'm gonna copy and paste Think 10, 10 materials will be enough. Each three plane will have one material. So let's create 10 materials. We need to change the blend mode. Needs to be add. To extract the fuse texture and align them. Now we need to color cycles but before that I'm just gonna create all the mix patches and without connecting color cycles I will just connect the great scale image and see how it looks so I need 10 pieces of mix assign any materials 
to the planes so we're gonna be what the so these are created by mistake i guess i'm gonna delete them now whoops delete these planes as well already too heavy i'm gonna assign material zero to first three planes and then material one material two i'll keep going like that four it's four right five six seven eight and nine so i'm gonna delete uh, the lights and reduce the intensity of the ambient light now you can see we we just achieved a uh, white color of god rays but we need to colorize it and for that I'm gonna go to library and search for cycle and import the color cycle patch I need uh, one color cycle for each material because I just want to modify the start value so we can achieve this flow like rainbow effect let's set the duration and start values so this needs to be five four or five it depends on your I'll go with 4 start value is 1 for the first one 4 and 0.9 I'm gonna sub subtract uh, 0.1 for each color cycle patch 0.8 Seven point six point five point four point three point two. one is point one well it doesn't matter as long as you keep this point one difference between each color cycle start value you need to restart it to synchronize and now you can see this uh, rainbow flow in our planes think now we can start playing around with smooth step well we can change different values for both minimum and maximum edges but I like 0.4 and 0.45 find these values best for my taste but still you can change you know however it suits your taste I'll stick with these
these values. And now here is one of the important parts. I used radial blur because by the nature of this blur it just you know the best option for God rays filter. If you know if you use another blur patch like uh, box blur or directional blur or Gaussian blur let's say and let's try you will see this uh, there will be gaps between planes so it's not the very best choice when it comes to this kind of effect you see right you can see the planes and it flows uh, in this effect when you use different kind of blur so I'll just use radial blur instead because it's gonna give me a flawless appearance of God rays Lastly, I'm going to create a default pipeline because as I said, this is a this is a heavy effect so it's going to reduce the performance and it's going to be laggy. So I'm just going to reduce the size. hope for a better performance but if you reduce too much it's gonna be like uh, you know pixelated so I don't like this either so I'm gonna go with 0.7 but also improve your performance I'm gonna leave this project as an attachment below this video and also the links for radial blur where I have a couple of different blurs as well like magnetic blur and twist blur so you can try them out but I'm not gonna include those into this project well that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you enjoyed like and subscribe and comment below See you on the next video.